Hey guys, going? Um, today I'll be yarding a small mob of cattle with my dogs to get the buffalo far off the back and um, yeah, make sure they're all fit and healthy. Right, let's go get the dogs. Snickers. Sook. Sook. Go back. Go back. Not sure. King, got it. He had a scope. As you can see in this footage here, I drive right around the back of the mob to push them all into one and uh, send the dogs to help me bunch them up. Snickers! Good boy. Here, Nitro, come. Nitro! In this footage here, I am sending two dogs to another mob while the other two mop up this mob here. The other two dogs that I sent out first will mop up that mob and bring them back to me. And we'll put them into one and then we'll start heading to the yards. You can see here. That mob over there has already been blocked up. This mob here is making its way to that mob so we can start heading up, making our way to the yards. When working with cattle and trying to move them around, uh, you always want to block them up with the dogs or block them up first, hold them for a bit like here so that they can learn dogs and um, get a bit educated before you start moving them um, if because if you start moving them as they just got mo just got mobbed up um, you will have a bit of trouble moving them to the yards and doing something as they will try and run away this will ensure that you can get them to where you want to go if you mob them up let them get educated a bit so you can move them. In this little bit of footage here, you can see the cattle starting to veer off. That's where I send the dogs around to pull them back in along the fence so they keep heading the right way. Right here, we have the dogs pushing them from behind, making a little lane sort of thing while I'm in the front directing where the cattle should be going and helping the dogs out as they can hear the bike and know where to go. Wait. Get away, go around. I just sent the dog there around the mob to bring the tail up to the lead as the tail's falling behind a little bit. Wait. Right here I am turning around letting the helping out of the gateway and letting the cattle go into the lane that leads straight to the yards so that way they can get processed. Come so right here I slowly drive behind them as they walk into the yards. Here 
I am shutting the gate, making sure they don't get out, and panning them up, ready to get processed and uh, checked over. Get away. And the last gate right here. Um, when I close it, I put the chain underneath itself so that way cattle can't lick it and uh, get out because they've ch unchained the gate. Good dog. Good dog. Suk. Here, yeah, let's go. Dog here, his name's Suk. He's a very good dog. I like the way he works and has very much, very good potential to be a really good working dog. This dog here is named Snickers. He's very new to the cattle working side of stuff and I like the way he worked today. Today was probably one of his better runs. This dog here is named Nitro. He's a young pup. Um, I like the way he works. He does. He's very good at running around the mob and blocking them up when they're running too fast and can read the cattle very well. Kink, calm. This next dog is named Kink, and uh, he's a very good dog and very solid dog. Thank you guys for watching that video. Um, remember, hit smash the like button. Um, if you like my content, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out. And uh, yeah, thank you.